Hey guys, I'm Nate the Intern, and welcome back to Built by Design. This is our second check-in, where we're gonna go over what we learned in chapter two. Now, chapter two was about speeding up your modeling process, whether that was by using an increased amount of pre-modeled componentry that you got through our downloadable content, or you using the design accelerator to use content that's already in Inventor, whether it's the bolded connection tool or the chain and sprocket tool. So as you, we did this, we also increased the functionality of our robot model for the 2007 competition Rack and Roll. Now let's ch check out how far we are on that robot. As you can see, we've got a lot of base componentry here. In the next videos, we'll apply some visualization tools so it actually looks like the robot it's going to be, as well as document it using the drawing tools. All right, so that's what we did in chapter two. Now in chapter three, we're gonna focus on presenting your models, whether it is to potential sponsors in the form of visualizations that are both attractive and look realistic, or whether it's by creating drawings and presenting those to machinists who can then make the parts for you. We'll also go over what it takes to enter in the Autodesk 3D Design Award, as well as some other tips and tricks along the way. Until next time, I'm Nate the Intern, and this is Built by Design. Good luck out there.